in the name of my ancestors. Peace forever and always, and welcome to another edition of the Realities Tip on Earth Internet Ministry. Of course, I am the gatekeeper or the host of this particular program, known here on the internet as the mighty, 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 mm, Angel Snub Nub 7. I am your brother, and hopefully your friend, Talik Ibn Ra. I would hope that you would give me the pleasure, the honor of being able to speak with you within the next few minutes. It is always a humbling thing to me that you would allow me such privilege. The topic that I've chosen is a message to those who hate Angel Snub Nub 7. I want to make clear being hated, being disliked does not bother me in the least. I do not care. The person called Jesus in the Bible, Martin Luther King Jr., who is called the Prince of Peace. There are many persons who represent what we call peace. But many of these persons, like Jesus and Dr. King, they were hated, they were lied upon, and eventually they were murdered. Why is this? And there is no doubt, some may say, they were good people. So your hatred of me really means nothing. However, this shows the attitude, this shows the environment that peaceful people live among. They live among animals. They live among the savage. They live among the hate field. Because you will never hear hate coming from this ministry. You will never be able to prove or show that I have done anything to harm anybody in this world. Physically. Verbally. That is uh, up for question. Because for many of you, your feelings get hurt very easily. I send this message to those who hate Angel Snub Nub 7. So if Jesus can be hated. If Muhammad can be hated. If Dr. King can be hated. If, if those who are called good can be hated. Why should I be shocked that I am hated? If I had your attitude. If I had you, your behaviors. Many of you make mockery of me because I was incarcerated unjustly. And you cannot show and have no evidence to prove that it was not an unjust incarceration. But the reason why I am able to speak to you today is because of my attitude, because of my behaviors. I am an adult person. Many of you are infantile. Many of you are childish. And that is why, unlike myself, if you were placed in a jail, if you were placed in a messed up situation, if you could not get help from your lawyer, you would be messed up because you have a childish, infantile, fairy tale type mentality. I don't have time for messing with children. I've grown beyond childish things. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. But now that I am adult, I must speak like an adult. And that is something that you don't understand because you have never been 
an adult. You have been dependent upon Caucasian people for your education, your substance, your very survival. You cannot think outside of the realm of what your slave master have placed into your brain. You believe you are thinking for self and in reality you are not. So when you come against a person who is thinking for self and the slave master have not given you the tools needed in order to deal with that type of mentality, then you become angry and infantile and you have temper tantrums and all this nonsense. I'm sending a message to those who hate Angel Snub Nub 7. I don't have a criminal record. I don't have a criminal history. I've never had problems with the law. In 2009, there were a lot of what you were, what you would call trolls. They were messing with me constantly. All kinds of videos made about me. I'm sending a message to those who hate Angel Snub Nub Seven. But then, when, unlike yourself. When these people actually sat down and stopped being emotional and we were able to have a decent conversation, a debate, verbal debate, where I could clarify my position and we could talk to one another. That was 2009. By 2010, all the faceless people that hate Angel Snub Nub 7, all of them, by 2010 saw me and had a different view of me because they needed more clarification they needed to understand they needed to listen to what I'm saying instead of just hearing what I am saying and that is a good thing this goes to show that Angel Snub Nub 7 can get along with anybody if you want to get along with me. There is nothing. That we cannot work out. Angel Snub Nub 7 is a peacemaker. In fact. Angel Snub Nub 7 has gotten in trouble. Trying to be a peacemaker. Between people. Who have had beefs. So don't lie on Angel Snub Nub 7. Don't try to paint me. As something I am not. I will and can't admit my error. But don't try to beat me with my error. Just say, I will admit, you got me. But also bring proof of your accusations and your allegations. Then it's over. That is something, that is a hump in the road we dealt with. Now let us go on to better things. Unless, of course, I continue ill behavior unless I continue the lie I was incarcerated unjustly for 10 years with so called insane people but during the whole 10 years that I was locked up with so called insane people I got along with everybody I only had two little incidents, but even in those incidents, there was peacemaking with the one who was angry. By the time I left that mental facility, there were people, staff and patients, who actually were crying because they were happy that I was being released, but at the, at the same time, they were very sad because Angel Snub Nub 7 is a good person. I helped everybody in that facility, including the staff. When I began to learn the law and people had problems, they felt as though they didn't have any money to use the court system. They would come to me. Help me get a divorce. Help me sue so-and-so. My car got hit. Help me file a case against this. Help me go see my mother. Help me make a telephone call. Help me write a letter. So your accusations and your allegations that Angel Snub Nub 7 is some 
crazed, wacky maniac. It is unsubstantiated. It is a figment of your imagination. It is not a reality. That is why when you try to come in that matter, you will fail because that is not what I am. One of the things that you really don't like about me, and I have the right, and you have the right, is to defend your position in the best manner that you can. Being a student of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad under the guidance of Minister Louis Farrakhan, I had to learn how to defend the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. And I did that very well. When I became incarcerated and I began to go to court and I had to defend myself against the wicked. It was not the fact that I could not defend myself. But of course, as you know, those who were oppressing me, they controlled the courts. They controlled the facility. So it did, it did not matter how well I spoke, how well I wrote, I write. They always had the advantage. But in the end, in the end, they lost. I am a person that you can sit and speak with. I've never been on a job where I had conflict with my employer or those I work with because I come there to do my job and I do my job well. There are very few people that will come out against me and say that they, after really speaking with me and knowing me, that they can say, you know, I hate Angel Snub Nub 7. What you hate is my ability to defend my position. And I have the right to do that. And unlike so many of you, before I put my thoughts and my opinions out in the public, I have sat around for a long time and really thought about what I'm going to say, how I'm going to say it, the position that I, the, the, the stance that I take. This message goes out to those who hate Angel Snub Nub 7. So I offer you and invite you. If you are faceless, I cannot debate you. I cannot do that without a fee because you will become hostile. You will become crazy. You, it, it will be a waste of my time. So let me get paid because you are childish. You cannot handle your opinion being dismantled. So you, so your only option is to begin childish name calling and all this nonsense. Nobody has time for that. And for those that do show their faith, so far 100% decline. Because they already see the videos. They understand what they are facing. They don't have the proof, not even verbally. They can't even paint the proof. The only thing they have is complaint and anger. So that's your problem. That's not my problem. And you can hate me, but you don't hate those that really cause us harm. I hear the hate. I hear the vileness. I hear the profanity used against me. If you had that same type of energy against the real enemy, then our problems would be solved and there would be no need for me to even speak. But you fear the real enemy. I faced the real enemy, dealt with the real enemy, and I target the real enemy. Really, what y'all talk about don't mean nothing to me at all. This is a message to those who hate Angel Snub Nub 7. If you truly are a good person at heart, if you have no malice, you can talk to me. Send me a message and we will begin to talk. However, as soon as you want to act like a child and act like an infant, I got to cut you loose. I have bigger fish to fry. This is a message to those who hate Angel Snub Nub 7. Thank you for listening. 
Jump down your comments. Let's talk about it. This your brother, the Angel Snapped Up Seven. This was and is the Reality's Temple on Earth.